Hello everyone. Uh, in this session, I will show you how to create a derived results where you will pick information from both the HD file and the FEM file. And for this use case, I will um, compute the reserve factor. So the reserve factor is computed as uh, the FUNMIS-S divided by the yield stress. So as a preliminary steps, um, First, what I did was to define my material uh, in OptiStruct, my MAT1 material with MATS1 modules, so that I have the yield stress, which is, which is defined as the limit. So if you scroll down uh, for one of the material, you can see that at the bottom, let me pick one of them, you see that I activated MATS1, and then I have access to my limit. If I come back to Hyperview, here I have loaded my FEM in my H3D. If I start by creating a derived result, uh, what I will see is that if I look at my model, so I need to have reset my template advanced uh, first as a key point. And if you scroll down, you will see some predefined values of MAT1, MAT1 uh, Young Modulus. Um, uh, Poisson ratio, density, uh, shear modulus, theta, but we don't see the limit yet. So for this, there is one file that we can we need to change in the installation and get some information. So let me first go back to my hypermesh client and let me go to my TCL window. I used one command which is HM attribute list. Um, for looking at the attributes, the different attributes of my material. I pick material ID 1, I could have picked material ID 2 or uh, 3, and I can ask for the ID of the attributes or the name of the attributes. In order for me to make sure of what I see, I uh, generally request both and then I focus on the both of them. And then in the installation, I need to look uh, for one file which is into uh, so let me open it directly through the text editor um, because it's already open you find it in program files alter your version hw desktop io result readers rmxml and it is the rmxml of cfg so what you see there let me do my last operation it's that you have this file which is uh, sorted by solver. So here what I want to do is add one line for OptiStruct input reader. So here I can, for instance, copy and paste this one and I will say mat s1 limit one for instance and I need to pick the or to return the correct ID. So if I look at my model here, or at my file here, you see MAT1E is ID1, MAT1G is ID2, ID2, MAT1NU is ID3, etc, etc. So if I come back to my hyper workstation, you see that I have MATS1, limit 1, and they are sorted. So if you look 1, 2, 3, 4, the fourth name is linked to ID1. So we re retrieve 1, E, 2, G3 new etc etc. So matis one limit one ID is 4423. And here's my file and I can save it. As it's a file of the installation, you may need to have the admin right in order to do so. And now I need to uh, load again my hyperwork session so that it is taken into account. Uh, I will create a hyperview session and once created I will load again my model so let me go to the first one just to grab my uh, pass from the first page So let me pick this information, switch to the other one, 
So this is my first file. So let me change just the files. So here I want FEM file as the input. So it would be an optistruct reader. I want the post sets because this is the one where I define the matess one and I want my palette.h3d. Um, and it should be close. Let, or let me filter out too. Um, it will be on alter. Let me try the hyper 3D read and bullet dot H3D. Please make sure to keep in mind you need to set result map template to advanced. Apply. And then you can right click, create. You can create a derived results. Uh, so now let's say that it is result factor and what you want to do is to get first your element stresses to the end3d and you want specifically the fun test for this case to so insert and I want to divide it and if I did well I should see my matess one limit one insert the matess one is uh, a value for material. So if I click on apply, I should get a warning. So I have to bring this material information to element. And for this, I need to use an operator from the model library, which is BC mat to lm So let me uncheck I default argument, double click on mat to lm and I will just pick my last statement, which was my uh, uh, mat1s1, and um, I can just insert it back. And here it should be okay. Apply. Okay. And if I go to contour now, I will be able to go to the reserve factor. And just let me increase my panel just to click on apply. And here's my uh, reserve factor. So here I'm done with um, my reserve factor and I was able to display it in Hyperview. So here was for this presentation.